thanks for clicking on the video. I'm back here at the moss roof shelter that I built about maybe two, two and a half months ago. I haven't actually been here in about four or five weeks. We've had quite a lot of bad weather in that time, but I'm surprised it's still standing. Yes, you can see there are holes, there's gaps, there's light coming through, but I think that just needs patching up with a load more moss. I, uh, yeah, I'm not here for the night. I'm just here for the day. I've got with me my wood stove. I've got my ax, I've got my knife. I've got a couple of new, brand new silky saws which I want to try out, I haven't even tried them out yet. And I've got some really nice food to cook up. So what I'm going to do is set the stove up, get a fire going, and then I want to show you a little clip of what exactly I have and how I caught the food that I brought with me today. gonna pop a few of these blisters and we see how much resin just oozes out that's really good for fire lighting you don't need much this time of year it's really runny because it's warming up whereas in the winter time it's pretty much solid so yeah that's that's all I need really That there is a bit of wood sorrel. It's almost got like a bit of citrusy, um, a citrusy taste to it. There's something sharp, but not unpleasant. Yeah, you could quite easily eat these all day, but you'd need quite a lot to uh, fill up your stomach. All right, got my resin, let's go. place that down and then it's going to take a couple of a couple of strikes and you can just see how well it burns and it's quite hard to tell but it's got a really thick black smoke and that tells you that it's really oily and it's going to burn for what, quite a long time It's a really thin, almost pencil lead thickness twigs right here. Go straight in on top.
Look at that. Wow, like a hot knife through butter. And for those interested, I do have new merch. These, these are 12 millimeter diameter fire steels. And they come with this scraper, which has a bottle opener, and then the logo engraved onto it as well. And you can just see, they, they just produce a shower of sparks. Really good quality ones. So yeah, if you're interested, I'll put a link below, but check out the bushcrafttools.com online store. Right, back to the video. A little bit of salt. To find out exactly what I'm about to cook up, watch this. I came here two days ago, and as you've probably seen in my previous videos, there's a wreck. Just behind me, about 30 meters behind me, there's a shipwreck. Three days, two, sorry, two days ago, I put three traps, I tied them to the wreck. I put bait in the traps and I'm now going to go and check them. Fingers crossed we'll have a lobster within the next few minutes. Let's go. <laughs> We've done it again. Got another lobster. Wow, she's a beast. Look at it. She is a beast. Wow, a oh, bit of damage as well to the claw there and on the back there. Next thing to do is to measure it, to make sure it's within size, the size limit. But it looks pretty big already. In fact, it's one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. So uh, let's measure it anyway. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh, it makes me so happy when I get lobsters. Look at it, it's a beast. That left claw, that, that, that left claw is huge. Wow, I'm happy with that. Right, let's measure it. And if you're wondering what was in the other traps, well, there was a couple of small fish, there were gobies, and uh, there was one prawn, which I just let go. Uh, well, I just released the prawn. But this, this, I'm definitely gonna keep this if it's within the size, the legal size limit. So let's measure it. I've got my, I've got a measuring stick somewhere. Um, right, let me find it and I'll get straight back to you. Wow, okay, so this is my measuring stick. Okay, it might look a bit long, but this is what I use at low tide for going in underneath the big rocks and hooking out the lobsters. So it's basically low tide foraging for lobsters. On the handle, what I've done is I've got a measurement of 90 millimetres, nine zero millimetres, going from there to there. And what you do is you measure from the back of the eye socket to the back of the shell or the carapace. So the measurement we're looking for is to go from the back of the eye, which is right there, all the way back to the shell. If this is smaller than that measurement, it means this is too small. So let's place it there. And you can see the shell extends past the 90. So this shell is actually about, I don't know what, it's about 93, 94 millimeters long, which means it's well within the legal size. In fact, this measurement I have in here, this is over the legal size limit. So anything that I catch, which, which measures to this or bigger, which mean, well, means it's definitely a keeper. <laughs> so yeah, we got ourselves a keeper. Thing is, where should we cook it? Well, I don't really have any facilities right here with me on the beach to cook it. So I think I'm gonna take it home, maybe take it to the woods. Uh, I'm not too sure yet, but I guarantee you this is gonna be eaten within the next 24 hours. And to keep it fresh, what I do is I wrap it in a tea towel or a kitchen towel and I wrap it in that in a damp tea towel and put it in the fridge. That way it stays cold, it stays moist and it doesn't dry out. And you know what? You can keep them alive for a few days doing that. Look at that, absolute beauty. Right, let's go. Hey. Right, well I think, yes, it's boiling. Perfect. So it's now time to stick in the lobster. And here it is, you can see that I've dispatched it using a knife. I don't agree with dropping these in alive. I just think that is really cruel. So it's nice and, uh, well, it's just ready to go straight in. Nice big claws, you can see one big crusher and then one almost like saw-like ripping claw. Well, let's do it, let's put it in. I could have done with a bit more water, but it's all good. It's gonna steam and cook nicely. And then I'll just top the fire up with a little bit of firewood. And when it comes to timings for this, I would say maybe 10, 12, 14 minutes. It kind of varies. What I normally go by is I put it in and then I wait until the water's boiling again. Once it starts to boil, I'll then give it another four or five minutes and then take it off and leave it cool. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go and get a bit of wild garlic because I've got some butter and I think if I can infuse a bit of wild garlic into the butter, hey, come on, that you know that's gonna be good dipping that, that lobster meat into the garlic butter. Mm, right, let's do it. So this is called wild garlic. You've probably all seen me use it before. It's also known as ramsons, and it's quite potent. You don't really want that much of it. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna infuse a bit of butter, and then I'm gonna, once I've cracked open my lobster, I'm gonna dip in chunks of lobster into the butter, and well, you know the rest. It's gonna be good.
bit of butter. And we're back, four minutes is up. Ooh. Right, look at that. Ooh. Incredible. I've taken the butter off, it's nicely melted. Ooh. Buttery and garlicky. Oh, it smells incredible. Let's go for a bit of the asparagus. Mm. I love a bit of crunch to, um, to asparagus. There's nothing that I hate more than an overcooked asparagus. It was so worth getting this. Look at that. Mm. Look at the size of that. Huge. Just for, uh, just for comparison, big claw or small head? You tell me. Let me know in the comments below, big claw or small head? <laughs> oh, perfect crack. Look at that. And don't forget, there's loads of meat left in there. Come on, yeah. We've got another little crack, right. I want to flip it over, but it's dirty. So I'll just go here. Oh, you absolute beauty. Look at this. Oh, he's being stubborn, he won't come out. He's out, he's out. Oh, he's a bit messy, he's a bit messy. Look at all that meat, I'll just break it up. Look at that. And then there's this like cartilage like disc plate. Whoop, almost dropped it. Which, um, there's always meat stuck to it. Mm. If you like this sort of content, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Just scroll down and hit the like button. And if you're watching it and you haven't subscribed, well, why not hit the subscribe button as well? 
Time for the tail. You know, it's only fair that I give her a little bit of my food. I'm gonna give her a bit of this lobster tail, a little mouthful of lobster tail, without any butter, without any garlic. Hey, did you even taste that? Or did you just swallow it? Yeah, you did. Was it good? I thought so. Come on then, jump up. No, don't squash me. Amber, don't have to, no. You don't have to squash me though. Here, right there, move, move. Amber, Amber, please. Amber, can you please? Oh, oh. God's sake. Hey, why have you always got to squash me? Every time I lie down, you squash me. Ha! Huh? You always squash me. <laughs> Guys and girls, I always say it, but if you've got any ideas of other things I can cook up. <laughs> oh, Amber, if you've got any other cooking ideas, food, anything that, that you go camping with and you cook when you camp, or any ideas, just let me know. Please comment below. Give me a suggestion of something to cook next time in the woods. Hey, what are you chewing on? A bit of shell? Oi, you're not, not allowed to chew on that shell. You get out. You, you know, that's it. You get out. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, that was a great meal. Surprising how filling one lobster is with um, six or seven asparagus and a bit of garlic, wild garlic butter. What a great combo. Yeah, there's quite a few holes in the roof. I think next time I come here, I want to do an overnighter. In fact, let me know as well in the comments, should I come back and do an overnighter? And if I do, next time I come, I'm going to spend a good few hours patching up this roof. Because, yeah, as I was saying, it's been a good few weeks since I've been here. And there's lots of holes in the roof. Good girl, aren't you? You're a good girl. Hey, you're a good girl. Yeah, that's right. You are a good girl. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like this sort of video, please let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what part of the video you liked, what you want to see me do here next time, and again, what do you want to see me cooking? Have you got any cooking ideas? Something else I can cook here in the woods? If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give it a like. Hey, see you next time. <laughs> oh, spoiled dog. Hey, I don't know any other dogs 
that have ever eaten lobster. Do you? Ow! Don't get me right in the neck. Right, come on then, let's go home. Come on then. 